Hello and welcome. My name is Cinnamon Wolf and in today's video we're going to be talking about index pages on your Squarespace website. So let's go ahead and dive in. I have my website pulled up here um, because my website utilizes index pages. So I thought what a better way to describe how they work than to just show you on my personal website. So I have my home page. I'm logged into the back end of my Squarespace. I'm in my pages panel. Um, you can see I do have a lot of pages on my website, but we're going to talk specifically about my home page, specifically my index page. So an index, important to know, an index is basically pages stacked on top of each other, and they show an all one long rolling screen. So if I just scroll down this page, you'll see it just goes on for a while. There's lots of information included on my homepage, but this is a series of pages that is created and then stacked on top of each other. So to create a new index, if you wanted to, you just click on the plus sign in any of your navigation bars in your navigation or your not linked section, you click the plus and then you choose index, and then it will ask you to start building out the index. Since I already have my index built, I'm gonna just show you what that looks like. So for my home page, you can see here, oops, I clicked on the wrong page. Um, you can see here that we have a few different pages, one, two, three, four, actually five pages stacked on top of each other. So my banner page is this page right here. You can see it's titled home banner. And if I wanted to change what's on this page, I would click edit. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see we're at the home intro. So that's this page right here. And if I wanted to edit this information, I would just click edit in that section. And this, even though there's a line here, this is still all one page. So this is all one intro page. Then we have another banner, which is the 10 step guide. So you can see that page is listed right here. And then we have some information on that page. And then we go further down, we have my services page, which all of this information is listed on my services page. And then we have the testimonials page. So indexes are a great way to dynamically showcase your uh, website information in a way that's easy to scroll down since more people are getting um, used to scrolling down, especially on their phones. It gives you the ability to provide lots of information on one single page without people having to click around on a navigation bar to multiple different pages. This is very easy to do in Squarespace. Um, again, my footer down here is not included in the index. This is just my actual footer itself. I am currently using the brine template. So you actually have lots of options. I have footer top blocks, footer middle blocks, footer bottom blocks, which I actually did not have anything included and a navigation at the bottom as well. Lots of flexibility with the brine family of templates. Um, you can also in the brine index pages, you can actually put um, uh, an image on the page. Um, that's what this is, this blue stripes. This is an actual image. If I click on the page right here, settings under media, you'll see that that graphic is there as an image. And then you can put text or you can actually just build the page on top of the image, which makes the page even more dynamic. Looks like I clicked a little too fast. It's getting hung up with itself. Let's get this refreshed. Um, but that's the basic um, general uh, structure for building an index page. Let's look at one more. Let's look at my work with me index. So this is up here in my primary navigation. I have one, two, three, four, five pages included in this index as well. So we have the banner, the intro, the one-on-one -on -one services page, the testimonials page, and the DIY resources page. So you can see it makes it very easy to put page on top of page. You can offset with colors and images and white space just to give it a little bit more um, uh, pop on the page so it's really dynamic. Um, but that's basically how you do it. That's how you build an index page. So super easy, super simple, not available on all Squarespace templates, but templates that do have index pages, again, should be very easy for you to set up. So hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe hit the notification, hit the like bar or the like button. It just, it really helps other people to find the content. And uh, if you subscribe, you will get notified the next time um, I upload a video. So hope you have a good day and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.